Hello, welcome to my home studio. Today I'm sitting down to do a casual drawing in my sketchbook. And while I do that, I want to talk about the concept of drawing. The reason I'm choosing this topic is because a lot of people go through art blocks or they simply want to begin drawing but they don't know where to start. So the term drawing is itself a very vast term because it involves a wide range of activities. But if you go down to the fundamentals, it's simply tracing down some lines on a piece of paper and connecting them to form shapes. The reason um, children pick up drawing very easily is because in the beginning it just starts with some lines. Then it translates down to shapes and finally enhances and evolves into a form of detailed visual. The whole idea is to enjoy the lines and marks and then see how they translate to something visually beautiful and meaningful. At times people really think that drawing is a special gift. But drawing is not a special gift, it's a skill. The more you practice it, the more effortless it becomes. For this video, I'm drawing a simple visual of a countryside and I'm using monochrome that is only pencil to sketch this out. Um, for, the, for this video, I have put the speed at um, two times because it took me around 30 minutes to draw this but to capture it on camera I wanted to do it faster most people can learn how to draw you just have to be motivated the reason I'm going to talk about this is because a lot of people ask me how do you do this and then they make a comment that they can never do this but trust me everybody can do this all it takes is some motivation and practice in this video I will not talk about mastering the specific techniques but rather just focus on the basic fact that drawing is first and foremost about seeing what you see translates to paper and that's it that is how you can draw Sometimes when a person is drawing for the first time, they don't know the technical skills. They just know that they have to look at something, observe the depth and details, and pen, pen it down to paper. As you, as you can see, I first started off this house with a bunch of lines, then translated that into a 3D shape, and finally joined the lines to give it a finished look. Lines and shapes can lead you to produce beautiful drawings 
even if you have started for the first time you should be able to simply define um, the object or your reference in a way that it seems beautiful and satisfying to you as a first step it's very important to observe when you observe correctly you will be able to make a beautiful art piece without following any of the adequate techniques it sounds easy to say but if you really want to learn how to draw you just need to look at things when you start looking at things in a certain way you are going to be able to analytically and objectively translate that now here's where the challenge comes a lot of people find it really hard to observe and that too for a long time every time you look at an object and you repeatedly look at it you're going to find new things looking at an object again and again not only gives you new areas and aspects to observe but it also allows you to see minor details that can have immense impact in the beauty of your drawing however one thing that we must take into account is whenever we draw we should focus on what's in front of us rather than the known information that our brain already contains what do i mean by that so for instance i'm drawing this house i know what houses look like but in this case i'm just trying to draw the house that's in front of me how does this help if i start thinking about all the houses that i've seen i'm going to try to replicate those using my learnings and put that to paper this clutter is the thought that i have versus the object that's in front of me that's where the confusion occurs so a simple example could be that whenever you're trying to get an object made with respect to relative size for instance now i'm drawing the fence the fence has to be in perspective and smaller than the house if i start thinking about the fence in real life or other fences that i've seen I'm going to clutter that information with the current information that I have. And that's where I would make mistakes. So always remember if you want to achieve a beautiful visual based on an object, a reference photo that you're using, just observe that don't think about any other information or prior knowledge at that time another reason that we should focus on what's in front of us rather than the extra information that we have is to achieve the right size of the object that we are drawing 
For instance, whenever we draw in perspective, we have to see objects relative to the size and this causes a lot of confusion if you start to think about the object based on your prior knowledge rather than focusing on the object in front of you. For instance, in my reference photo, there are three trees that I'm going to be drawing on this piece of paper. The first tree is the closest. The second is a little further. And the third is furthermore. Now, this information is what I picked from the reference photo in front of me rather than information or prior observations that I have in my brain. I have put them aside and I'm only trying to sketch out what's in front of me. This is extremely helpful because right now I did not apply any of the perspective techniques of art. Rather than that, I have just used simple lines and observation to put down these three trees as they are in my reference picture. As you can see, that since I'm drawing with observation of the current photo and not any other knowledge or information I have put down the perspective without using any of the technical knowledge for beginners who are scared to try out this new skill or get overwhelmed this is a simple example all you have to do is draw based on what's in front of you. Again, as I said, drawing is the art of seeing. I'm a left-handed person and a lot of times I smudge my sketches because uh, my hand is usually on the piece of paper so I have to erase it. I think I do need to wear the anti-smudge glove but I don't have that right now so uh, to fix my sketches I usually uh, once I'm done with the whole drawing I usually just erase the extra smudge that has uh, occurred because of my hand movement. The kind of drawing you are making depends on how you view the purpose of the activity. Like, you need to think about why are you drawing. Sometimes people draw because it's a hobby. And sometimes they draw because they want to express themselves. If you start to think about the reason you want to make a drawing, then again, your aim really makes a difference because that's um, where you start to select the medium, the material. So we're going to talk about that more for now. This is a simple motivation for all those who are going through an art block, not sure what to do, not sure where to start. Just take a piece of paper 
observe what's in front of you and begin.